Hello, hello, it's Kitty, proud to be your declutter specialist, coming to you on a beautiful, oh, uh, oh, it doesn't even matter what the weather is, you never know what it's going to do from minute to minute here, you know the expression, if it, if it, uh, if you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes, we used to say that in the Rocky Mountains, but I'll tell you what, it's true here in Atlantic Canada, and if you're watching this on a replay, uh, do me a favor, put, uh, tell me if, if it's, where you are watching from and if it's the same way with you you know the weather is constantly changing I'd love to hear that we do uh, appear on this is rebroadcast on LinkedIn on Twitter Instagram and hello hello Sarah Instagram and YouTube uh, we'll talk about YouTube in a minute hello thank you for joining oh good heavens happy Friday, as Darren Hardy says. Happy Friday. Good heavens to Betsy. I'm, I'm delighted that it's Friday. It's been a week, but you know, it's been a productive week. It's been a good week. Um, I, I signed another client yesterday who wants to change her life, and uh, she's a repeat client, and she fell out of the fold for a little bit, and um, she has come back, and she has made that commitment to herself that she's all in yeah and uh, delighted to have her and it always makes me feel good when people take action on their lives all of my clients have made the decision to take action on their lives now what kind of what kind of action you may ask well I'll tell you what I am Kitty with declutter the brain and entrepreneurs and startups hire me to clear their help them to clear their clutter and overwhelm in 90 days at least the basics in 90 days so that they can um, focus more on um, making money in their business and creating an amazing life for themselves and their their families and I do believe that uh, fo lack of focus <laughs> and uh, focus and concentration hello Pam uh, and yeah lack, <laughs> lack of focus and concentration <clears throat> And physical clutter are really tw um, closely intertwined so that uh, that is why I've developed a step-by-step -step system an easy to follow step-by-step -step system right guys uh, put in the comments if you agree um, that uh, that's enabled me and my clients to you know hey I still have to declutter oh yes <laughs> that just helped me uh, enabled me and my clients to clear years of overwhelm with their years of overwhelm yeah that too years of clutter with Without getting completely overwhelmed by the process if that sounds like something that uh, is ringing true for you excuse the screaming baby in the background that's that's uh, that's half an apartment floor it's the next apartment and you can hear it now I don't know put it in the comments if you can hear the screaming baby anyway if if you want to take immediate action on your clutter um, hold that thought and we'll tell you the next step to take okay all right this week we have been talking about ah uh, I'll get to declutter the brain in a moment we have been talking about in ADHD and clutter and are we as I am ADHD uh, many of my clients are, are <clears throat> have the have the have the same um, traits shall we say and and do we tend to be more prone clutter prone or clutter free now I tend to be a bit of both so depending on what day it is but a boat uh, so, um, a couple of stats for you. That's what we've been talking about this week. So, a couple of stats for you. 60% of ADHD adults say that disorganization is a major problem in their lives. Um, and ranking up there as most urgent ADHD issue. Now, the National Association of Professional Organizers tells us that we spend 8,760 hours of our lives uh, searching for and replacing things and approximately $800 a year uh, doing the same, replacing things. Now, don't, you have, don't we have something better to do with our time and our money? I ask you, huh? Yes, yes. Now, um, if you ask an ADHD, if you tell that to an ADHD, or in fact this client that, that I signed yesterday when I met her at a trade show a year and a half ago, uh, she, she said, oh my God, double that. 
I'm sure I spend two years of my life looking for things and I spend at least double that. So it depends. It depends on whom, whom you ask. Now we can be prone to clutter for a couple of reasons. Partly, we we leave, we tend to leave out thing, leave things out as visual clues because of um, you know, just a neurological uh, uh, challenged working memory. Okay, I'm not going to say poor working memory. It's it's challenged. It needs improvement, and we can improve it. Uh, Shopping, we um, impulse control is kind of kind of a hard thing to do with us. And Amazon and Etsy and Marketplace are only too happy to feed that, are they not? Same with Hobby Lobby and Joyce's Joyce's Crafts or whatever it is, right, Sarah? Yes, <laughs> we can all relate to that. Come on, I got Michael's just up the street here. <laughs> Thank God they close early on Friday nights. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know their hours, actually, because I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Um, all right, that is good enough for that. Uh, now, where does we know how clutter can cause problems? You're, you know, people nagging at you. Um, it, uh, now, here's when it gets funny: is when items are not in the right room, like your slippers are in the garage or your, your hairbrush is in the kitchen. Hiking and hiking equipment in the dining room trail max anyone yes um, it can be a, can come a safety issue of course um, stack of papers so tall right not good not good fire yeah that too now uh, what to do about all of this especially from an ADHDer's point of view first thing here's what to do um, and the, well, well, you can do what you want, but this has worked for me and my clients. Start fresh. Adopt a beginner's mindset, a baby's brain, if you like, whatever you want to call it. Start fresh. Make a decision. Okay. All right. I'm throwing my preconceived notions out the window, and I'm I'm just going to start fresh. All right. So. Um, remember that getting organized takes time. Hello, thank you for joining. It, it takes time to do it right. So cut yourself some slack. It's going to be slow. And yeah, I know, guys, we're all super impatient. We want it done not yesterday. We want it done last year. Okay? Ain't going to happen. So just don't. All right? Cut yourself some slack is what I'm trying to say. Now, make sure that we, we do need to see things. So be able to see it. Make it so you can see it. Color code it. Clear bins. All of us at Declutter the Brain, we we thrive on color coding. Uh, clear bins, um, a baskets, so you can put like items with like items, so you're not sifting through. You know your hat. Your ADD magazine says, uh, what do they say? Put put your gloves, your hat, and your scarves in one box. What? No, no, don't do it. Put <laughs> a box for everything, okay? That really is the easiest. Especially if you have kids with, yeah, right? Um, I'm just skimming here because some of this, uh, I've got a lot to cover here. Oh, here's one that I love. Spend at least five minutes. No, don't spend 15 minutes a day. That's way too much. Five minutes, even if it, a maximum of five minutes. It's doable. Just tidying up that one area where you are working. I do it. My office is always, always uh, workable. Anyway, um, you want to uh, when you when it comes to shopping, you want to wait over. This is courtesy of Sarah. Thank you, Sarah, for this. Uh, wait overnight to complete your purchase. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the waitress rule: never walk from one room to another empty-handed. There's always something that you can take with you. That's that's my what I was a waitress for a lot of years. Trust me. All right, think once and let it go. Don't overthink it. Yes, we do overthink things as good. Uh, God love you, Sarah. Uh, hi, Michael. Um, we do overthink things. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah, ooh. Overthink things and don't. Just look at it. You, you will have an immediate instinct and then you will start to think twice. Don't. Uh, ask yourself, uh, how often will I use it? Where will I use it? What will I use it for? Um, and just don't overthink it. You're, the nose knows, as they say. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Write it down. Okay, this is, that's just a general rule for us. 
Uh, think functional, not fancy. You don't need Martha Stewart organizing boxes, okay? Something from Dollar General will do just fine. Thank you very much. $2 versus $30. Think of the crafts that you could buy. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> uh, all right, now here's the most important thing of the week. All right, you ready? Okay. It is not what others say about your clutter, but how you, I mean you, feel and function around it. Your own expect expectations are more rewarding. Hear me on this and hear me very, very clearly. Uh, as long as you are in control of your mess and the mess is not controlling you, all right, you let the criticism roll off your back. Thank you, Christine. That was something that, that she, excuse me, contributed to the group, all right? Um, um, I was, I was going off on, on, a, on a soapbox there. Um, yeah, that is really, really important. If it is, if you're in control of it, if you can function, if you, if you can function well and do your job and you are not, and you are not hurting anybody with safety issues, anything like that, well, um, they may just have to live with it or if they can't, then it may turn into a sad situation. But when it comes to something basic, okay, we're not talking hoarding clutter, all right? We're, we're, we're just talking some basic stuff, all right? Uh, and just go easy on yourself. That's my message to you today. You go easy on yourself. You're all adult people. You can think for yourselves. Do not let yourself be put down by other people. Hmm? Yes. I've even, I, yeah, okay, I used to put down my father for his clutter. I don't anymore. You know why? Because he's happy. He's happy with it. It's not even that bad now. Um, so, hey, you cut yourself some slack too. Hmm? All right. Uh, okay, so uh, Declutter the Brain Facebook group. Uh, the link is down below, the bit.ly link. Come and join us. We are getting rolling, it's just on one person and with a lot of projects on the go about with. But it's a fun group, it really, really is. We've got tips, we've got tricks, we've got workshops coming up, yes we do. Uh, all right, what else, what else? I wanna make sure that we that we get to everything. Oh yeah, if you uh, if you do enjoy this video, if you think, that if any of these videos, if you think that they're helpful, hit that share button. You might just cheer somebody up that you don't even know and people and people have come to me just by people sharing because if it just comes across their feed they're feeling down they feel better they reach out and that is the important thing whether or not they become clients we are here to change the world there's a song in there somewhere and i'm not going there all right um uh, youtube yes i really am proud of my youtube channel why because it's well organized you don't have, okay you don't have to scroll all right you just you just um i can't see it from the viewer's point of view but you don't have to scroll everything is organized by date by number episode number we're hitting 400 on tuesday guys i think it's tuesday 400 um it's organized by episode yeah it's organized by episode number by a category and by um the subject of the day and so if you don't if you dislike scrolling as much as i do hit hit us up youtube declutter the brain if you are feeling and uh, we'll just end with this if you are tired of coming home to your mess if you if you just want to get it done if you if you if you want an easy way hello thank you for joining if you uh if you want just if you're tired of it all right and you want to take immediate action on it tell you what let's jump on <clears throat> jump on a call and I'll give you a plan to take immediate action. Where do you, how do you go and do that? Uh, DeclutterTheBrain.com, there's a booking link there, or you can reach out to me directly and I'll personally book you in. While you're at DeclutterTheBrain.com, seven easy steps to conquer your clutter. It's waiting there for you. All right, until Monday, mon next week, we talk about decluttering small spaces. Thanks so much for joining. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye for now.